Okay, so I'm doing a capacity test right now on this 20 amp hour battery that I got um, from Amazon. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a 20 amp hour 52 volt on a 2012 Giant Trance. I got the battery down, well, just a second ago, it was 50, where's she here? 50, it was 50.4 there, and now it's back there. So it's it's bouncing between 50.4 and 50.3. Um, so that's half capacity on the chart that I'm using. 0% uh, is 42, full is 58.8. I'm going to use this kilowatt meter that right now it's all zeroed out. And we're going to see how much, how many watts I can put in. So it's all zeros. That's the watts. So I'm going to start charging it now. And we're going to see how many, how many uh, watts it takes in. And to kind of get an estimate of whether or not this battery is uh, what it's advertised as, is, which is 20 amp hours, it should take a thousand and 12 watts or something like that or 1014 and then if you add charger inefficiencies to it you have to take five or ten percent off what you put in as charger inefficiency so it should take about 550 if it is a real 20 amp hour but i don't think it's going to take that i think it's going to take less so we're going to test it right now and we're going to figure out just how big this battery really is and the charger this is the charger that came with it. It's a 58.8 to 2 amp. Here's the bottom. So I'll plug it in now. It usually takes about 120 watts, 130 watts. We'll see what it goes up to. And, um, and I'll use the kilowatt meter see how many kilowatts it's just so it should be 0 0.550 if it is a 20 amp hour and if it's anything less we'll try to figure out just what it is and i was going to show you too the the bafang 1000 bbs hd this is a a 92 millimeter uh, bottom bracket and i had to buy this adapter piece to fit it on there and these spacers that go in here. Um, but still, even when I had it all uh, tightened up really good, this motor would jump up when you were under uh, power. So I had to put that piece of plastic in there between the frame. And see, I made this little tab that holds these zip ties. These zip ties actually hold the motor up so that it doesn't jump. It's already there. And the tabs are made out of uh, this strapping here. This kind of strapping and I just cut little, one little hole one big hole and made a little tab so the little hole goes to that little bolt there that hex head bolt and it, it's been working pretty it's it's been like this for a thousand kilometers so it's holding up pretty good and it was a fairly easy thing to stabilize the motor it's it's uh it's actually been working pretty good compared to how it did before i did that it would bang against the frame every time you hit the gas so anyways it's charging we got three watts in there so we'll see how many watts it takes to fill it and we will calculate it later it'll probably take if it if it is five um if it is 500 watts that it's taken in, it's probably going to take four or five hours. So I'll come back and check in three hours and see what it's at. And then uh, if it's not done, I'll check in a, another hour after that. And uh, yeah, I'll be back to finish this video in about four or five hours. Right now we got, it's climbed already to, let's see, 50, 51.1. Okay, so we'll be back in a bit and we'll finish this video.
Okay, so the charger's green now. And we used the, uh, or we gained uh, 423 watts. 0. 0.4, let's see, get it angle on there. 0. 0.423 kilowatts, 423 watts. So it's a little less than uh, than a 20 amp hour, that's for sure. And let's see, it should be pretty close to uh, 58.8 now. So we went from 50.4 to, uh, what's it say here? 58.7, 58.6. Okay, so it's, it's right full. So it, uh, it would take 846 watts to fill it right full from empty. If you go by this chart right here, I'm going, I'm using this chart where 58.8 is full and uh, 42 volts is empty. So that's the chart. So I made this chart too kind of just a guideline so we could kind of figure this out so it's under 17 amp hours and it's probably right around where the 15 is so we got 780 so once we take uh 423 uh, 423 times 2 846 okay and then we'll We'll go with uh, no losses with the charger. So 846 divided by 52 is 16.26 uh, kilowatts or amp hours. So now we'll do with losses. So it's 80, 84.6. So it'll be. Eight forty-six minus. Uh, we'll just go forty-five. Forty-five watts for the charger losses, and we got eight hundred basically, eight hundred and one. So it uh, it is it it's over a fifteen amp hour. Also, it's a right on 15 amp hours if there's more losses than 10 percent so i would call this battery a 15 amp hour so that's not too bad it's not a a 20 but for 300 dollars canadian that's not bad i can't complain about that so anyways that's the results of my test with the 20 amp hour hl I don't know if it's hay long or something like that. Um, HL battery, and it's got the ISR. I took it apart. It's got ISR 18650s. They're pink. I couldn't find much data on them. The data I did find was different for every, every one I found, so it's not reliable. But I'm guessing they're, they're okay. I haven't had any failures yet anyways. I'm still getting full charge when I charge it. And uh, it's, it's, I'm not getting big losses when I, when I let it sit. If I let it sit, it actually climbs. So I don't think there's any bad cells. So that's the results of the battery capacity test. Thanks for watching.